I did not like the sword eater when he was first introduced. Like, come on, who actually liked him, right? He showed up in the restaurant, just made a big scene, smashed the bottle in Nikki's head, and he stole the dojo. Everything was terrible. But then during the fight, it was like, hold up, hold up. The dad, you know, the dad was enjoying the duel. He was actually smiling. So in fact, it was almost like, damn, his douchebag status just got redeemed. And in the end, he told Icky, hey, that was fucking sick. Let's have a rematch or let's meet again in the tournament. I'm like, what? He's not a character to be hated anymore. I'm kind of hyped to see him, but I hear that, you know, we don't cover that in season one and people have been waiting eight years for the rematch. It is what it is. Um, we're going into... I'm not sure what we're going to do. we got a couple episodes left. How are we going to wrap up the tournament in this raid? I don't know. Let's begin today's reaction, though. Week off. It's going to be a chill episode, then? A little couple's romantic trip? Oh, it's a training camp. Oh, okay. What kind of training will it be, though? I feel like we're going to get a lot of fan service, man. <laughs> This feels like a couple's getaway. Yeah, exactly. It's not a honeymoon, but... Where is Shizuku going? <laughs> the Lettress Princess. Pig Vermilion. An appointment. Oh, where are you going, Alice? Maybe it's a dick appointment. Oh, if it's icky, it's okay. <laughs> sure, sure. Yo, who is that? Who is that? Who is that? Training camp? Student council! Wait, it's the... Didn't we defeat two of them already? Oh. What the... This is badminton! She is cute. And the, the, the shaved head guy. Like, I like this entire thing of... The more I swing my sword around, the stronger it becomes. Like, that was kind of funny. But... They just got off screen so quickly, you know? Yo, they're just throwing the rackets now. Like, the, the, it's not just badminton. They're just throwing random items across now. I, th I think that was a panty. I'm not sure. Uh, you're making us do cleaning duty? Uh, I mean, okay. Maybe this is part of the training. So, we're preparing this place for the actual tournament people. I thought this was going to be for us, but... I kind of feel bad for Suzuku. She's still left alone. Oh, I got a little cat, though. Onitama? What do you mean, Onitama? Did you just name the cat after your big bro so you call it like Onisama, Onitama? What the fuck, Suzuku? <laughs> yes, that's the two of them. They are lovers. Is she actually a cat girl or is that just her hair? How is the hair moving like this? It's a cat girl, right? What do you mean? Good luck with what? Ah, he totally didn't get it. He totally didn't get it. What's going on with her? Does she have some kind of flu? She looks tired and she has her face is flushed. It's not just like being... Oh. I see she's hungry. I... I... And what is it? No, Iki, we gotta go see the view. Yo, Iki, she's not looking good at all. She's pushing herself way too much. But this is just for the trip, right? The kiss the other day got you pregnant. Yes, Tell, that's exactly what happened. Morning sick. I don't know, but we kissed you and now you're pregnant, Stella. I'm sorry. Yeah, have you never had a cold before? E e un the rumored cold. You know what they say? That some people are so dumb they can't even catch a cold. <laughs> I'm not saying that she's dumb, but you've never had it before? Itoshura. Itoshura. Hey, who the fuck is that? That guy was on the bus. There was a, in the bus scene, the guy in the very center back, there was a guy looking down all weird. I thought it was just some kind of side character that we don't have to worry about, but someone's spying on us? Band service incoming. She's about to show her, you know, the Ito Shura of the night. That's true. He just stripped down. He's like, you know, oh no, I saw you. I'm sorry. Here, I'll strip down too. Jesus. Jesus Christ. Oh my, oh my god. She's just getting naked while lying down like that. I, this is... <laughs> I'm the... <laughs> that's me right now. I'm like, wait. 
<laughs> Help her out, bro. Bro, get in there. Picky. May I take them off? <laughs> you may. <laughs> We've come so far, haven't we, guys? The angle here. I mean, you can't really see, right? But the angle. Yes, come on. Just be, be, be cool, bro. Be cool. We're just... This is for Stella. Be cool, bro. Bro, do it a little bit faster. <laughs> just, there's a lot of steam coming out. <laughs> bro! There's so much steam coming out of the stockings! I think they spent more time on animating this scene than most of the fights, to be honest. That was, that was tough, right? Oh, the, the blouse is next, guys. The way that she fucking just went like that, I don't know. <laughs> this is an ungodly amount of high, uh, uh, fucking Etsy scene, but like, this is nothing, right? Compared to high school DXD? Like, I should be pretty much used to this if I'm gonna do high school DXD, right, guys? <laughs> now, the bra. Hmm? Hmm? What'd I say, guys? What'd I, what I say, guys? <laughs> She's having trouble breathing! Icky, you have to use perfect vision right now! Undo the bra in time! <laughs> not from that. Wait, I thought we we're gonna do it from the back strap, not the front. You can't even take the bra off from the front. The hook is in the back. Maybe the hook is in the front. So oh! <laughs> Dude, that was two different angle replays. Into a frame perfect save to not show the nipples. I've never seen a bra with hooks in the front. I thought it was always in the back. I guess, you know, for this specific scene, it's, it's a lot more fan service if you do it from the front, right? Having a hard time? Is the Ito Shura getting hard? You're about to burst out? The Ito Shura wants out! Oh, they're gonna show the balls, right? <laughs> it's a... It's a... No! It's, 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 it's like a compliment, kind of, to lovers, you know? And Stella's like feeling good, cause like, oh yeah, you know? I'm, I'm not saying everyone else, you know, you shouldn't be popping a boner for Stella, but if it's like for her lover, then it's exactly, exactly. Like, it's weird when I make commentary and I'm like, oh yeah, the girl wants it, but it's like, what the fuck? That sounds really weird. Hmm? 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 Hello? Yeah. Aw, kiss and get me pregnant again. <laughs> Do you even know what that means? Do you even know what that means? Because you thought you get pregnant by kissing. Hmm. Denying a woman in heat? Why? You can't be proud in front of your parents and my own family if you fuck her before meeting them. Is this some kind of sex, no sex before marriage kind of rule? Like religion? I... I mean, I'd say that if you're really serious about this, you would be open to do such a thing right now. But there's two different ways to interpret this. I think that Iki is, you know, you're trying to keep it pure, right? I guess sex is kind of taboo. It would taint the relationship somehow. I don't necessarily think so, but I get it. Oh my god. The hair is always just conveniently covering the nipples. Hmm? No shit, bro. Are you, it's not her fault. It's the author writing her this way. Who is this guy? That looks pretty good for his age. I don't know how old he is, but you know, I'd expect him to be way older, but um... Bullshit. Bullshit. That's not the case. You care more about Iki's intel, don't you? Did she pass? Oh, she went 12 for 12 too. Nice. Okay, but what about Iki? Iki also did it. Fuck you, dad. Yeah, what about brother? He's not. Because he just doesn't have the magic? He won 12 for 12, bro? Isn't that insane that he won 12 for 12 without the magic? Huh? Yeah, this is the first time we're seeing the dead. I don't completely understand how he sees Iki, but... Just on the past of what he said, it looks like he kind of treats him like a... Like nothing, right? What the fuck? Is that a golem? Itoshira! Who would be trying to assassinate us like this? Intense. 
I can already see the rule 34 being, you know, drawn for this scene of a bunch of golems and Stella. <laughs> oh no. Student Council! <laughs> sw swing at your blade, bro! The more I swing my blade, the stronger it becomes! <laughs> I love this guy. Okay. I want to see the girl in the dress fight, though. Healer. But he's so tiny. Where's the girl in the dress? I want to see her. Steel wire? You know this? Yo, we don't have time to monologue. Yo, your friends are about to fucking die. Wait, guys, hello? Anybody? We're just gonna watch these two die? President? President? It is her! She was the one that was wearing the hood before, right? She's not even... The blade's not even out! The, the blade's not even out! Oh, that's a lot of panties there. Dude. She is the most classic anime swordsmanship where you don't even see the blade leaving. It's like... It's like this, but it's like, it's like she moved while it was in the sheep the entire time. Will we see the blade at least once? Oh. Damn. We never see the blade leaving because she does it so fast. Well, I'm not sure. It's like lightning attacks, right? Maybe she doesn't need to have the blade out for the lightning attack to show up, but... Who are these guys? Oh, that's how the lightning, you know, relate to this guy. Who is this dude? He looks like the stereotypical fat ugly bastard you see in hentai. We still didn't get to see the girl in the dress fight though. Yeah, this girl is kind of next level. One in top four! Didn't win though. Top four. This is our best sword. Oh, that's a lot of booba. Told Toka? Toka? Hey, you're in this anime too, Toka? What? Who is it? What? The next matchup? Who's our first matchup against? Kurugane. What? Against the president? Okay, let's get real, guys. Do you think that Shizuku's gonna win? Yeah, you've already watched the anime. There's no fucking shot, dude. That Shizuku is gonna beat Toka. I'm sure Shizuku will put up a good fight. But, bro, this is the former, like, top four. She's the best in our school. And I guess it's top four because it's been said that our school actually is kind of trash, right? Like, not completely trash, but we haven't really gotten... We haven't been really winning these tournaments in the past, right? So, even though we haven't been winning, she still made it to top four. The way that she was moving, the sword in the sheath the entire time, lightning effects, Raikiri at the end. Holy shit, she is next level. And I'm, of course, in any moment, any given moment, there'll be some panty flashes. But like, goddamn, she's pretty hard. No clue who the fat ugly bastard is that sent the golden guys, right? Not sure what Iki's dad is really thinking about. Is there something deeper there between what he thinks of Iki? Um, because what I'm thinking is, he just sees him as trash, right? You are... I don't know, you're just not worthy of the Shirogane name. The Sorry, Kurogane name because, you know, it's you don't have the magic. But maybe there's more to it? I don't really know. Probably stuff in the light novel that explain it that probably won't be explained in Season 1. And holy shit, there's a lot of fan service, guys. But hey, if you're still here, if you did enjoy this reaction, please like the video. Check out the other playlist for even more content. And until next time, take care.